I hear a lot of people say that they can be really patient with horses, but they have no patience for people. I'm not sure you can do that. I'm Mindy. Mindy. Uh, I'm from Jackson, Wyoming. I grew up riding horses. I was in mortgage banking for lots of years, and it was very, very stressful. I realized something was missing. Come to find out, it's the horses. I still haven't found my place, but it has something to do with these. So if you have any questions, you have to raise your hand and stop me. So it's, okay, what? I'm Linda Lilly. You're gonna learn to love me, I promise. <laughs> I wear people out pretty quickly. I think with horses, it's probably not such a good thing. I get a lot of work done, but sometimes high energy is irritating to people. Can you guys hear us? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to the Jim and Mark Show. That's Jim, I'm Mark. The horse industry has gone to having a partnership with your horse, and I think what I'm gonna learn is my part of the partnership can be much softer. There's so much more to this that you just carry over into your life every day. When we're living our lives in this low-level state of panic, day in and day out, it makes it very difficult for us to see things how they really are. It takes a huge amount of courage to let go of what you think is happening and see what is actually happening because it takes our narrative and our story out of the picture. All we're doing is opening up to another possibility. So you gotta be willing to let go of that. If you can handle that, then you're gonna have a lot easier time with horses because you're gonna have a lot easier time with yourself. That felt good. <laughs> he looks much, much better today. I've had him most of his life. Um, he's 17. I know, breathe. That lady that dies with hay in her hair, that'll be me. 